well should have could have done this any time in the last few years or at least earlier than this but I never did maybe it's a blessing this is this is my last chance to show you my home in full to give you a complete thorough tour of my house and property as it is as it will never be this way again radical changes to my life are in motion the way it was for so long is over what happens next will never be the same this is the absolute turning point very much out of my control at first but the situation is slowly getting better <sighs> my mom passed away May late May of this year 2017 it was a total shock he was in the hospital recovering for a different reason getting better but next morning I'll be brought down to the emergency room and didn't make it he was 58 which is too damn young and then I was still 24 I turned 25 just a few weeks later June 6 she passed on May 21st 2017 and I turned 25 on June 6 2017 you can understand it's been just me in the house our house day in and day out with everything all this stuff going through a long probate process second half 2017 continuing into 2018 I have had so much help and I'm grateful for that I still have my dad of course he's 66 because of this after all this I have been reunited with my brother my older brother He's helping me. Twenty nine, almost thirty. Plan is in motion for me to finally get out of here, move away. Out of California, because that's what it's become. Over to Arizona. Mesa area, which is east of Phoenix. My mom was raised and grew up in Mesa. She worked so hard all her life, and because of what happened, she never get to retire and be free from work be happy never get to retire back home in Arizona but I did spread her ashes around her old cabin near Sholo Arizona the mountains and the rest at her parents my grandparents grave in Mesa. 
she was everything to me. She raised me and my brother. It's the least I could do. She would have wanted that. Now I am still going, obviously. In Arizona. Even though she won't be there. And my dad is working to finally move out of his house and leave California as well. He and my stepmom. Don't have a destination, but maybe Pittsburgh, where I was born. But back then, he really liked it there. He got a, his master's degree from Carnegie Mellon. It's been so hard to leave behind what I've always known change change to and get comfortable in a new environment the rest of my life twenty five years here in Southern California that's over almost Still whole life ahead of me in a new place. I am coping. I am strong. I've lived some had some so many great days and the best times. Must still be better days ahead. Maybe some of my best days still ahead. But uh, I'm still afraid. What whatever's ahead. Not my mother. Somewhere not too far away. Be there to see to talk to forever yeah for the rest of my life but this, this was it but without her her help her knowledge her support when, I'm, when my life is truly just getting started I know I'm a late bloomer, yeah, 25 and beyond that. Um, but when I be become somebody or really accomplish something, she's not here to ever see it. So, anyways, that's it. Um, this. this is just the intro. Enjoy seeing my property outside all around. Enjoy seeing inside my house all around. So much stuff. A lot of vintage stuff. So. Just wanted to add, I have shed plenty of tears, and it still comes and goes. Um, but it's all about moving forward. That's what I'm doing. And I mentioned that, that my mom was a workaholic, but it doesn't mean she didn't live life to the fullest. She did. Had a last great time. She, she traveled all over. She met a great guy 
most recent boyfriend. Love of her life. So. Alright. Rest in peace.